Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Funtopia for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Covering land both sides of a highway, this park has several rides already operating. Your objective to have at least 1,400 guests in your park at the end of October year 3 with a park rating of at least 600. So not a huge goal then. Um, we've got the park there. Let's turn off scenery so we can see the outline. And um, we can't buy any more, which is good news because the last one I played was Pacific Pyramids. And we did buy all the land on that. And I've got to be honest, I wasn't really happy with the way it turned out. So keeping it more compact, I think we're going to end up with a much nicer park for this one. So we've got two coasters to begin with and a Ferris wheel. Um, so I remember the first time I did this, I would have shortened grapevine um because it's way longer than it needs to be um we won't do that this time i mean we're probably going to tinker with it a little bit you know me i'm a tinkerer i'm a meddler um so let's have a look what we've got then we've got a couple of transport rides decent selection of gentle rides to begin with great selection of coasters to begin with um, some thrill rides, water rides, and not a bad selection of shops, but I wouldn't mind a bit more variety. And since we've got so much of everything else, we can afford to research some shops for probably the first year at least. Right, so let's have a look. Then we haven't got any shops or kiosks or anything down, so we're going to have to put some of those down as well. Um, I'm going to want to build out some path loops, divide the park up nicely. Um, we're probably going to end up moving the Ferris wheel. We're probably going to do something with this by here, this course to here. Nice stats, low prices. So we are going to put the price up on that. We could probably charge £10 for that. We can easily charge £10 for that, at least to begin with. Um, I think, though, what I'll do is... What's, what's going on here? Right, so I think if we look at, right, we can be smart about this, we can be smart about this. So let's, let's just, there you go. Just so if we maybe take it back to here, get rid of this bit all the way back to there. Um, we can replace that with like a brake run and a block brake and um, just make the coaster a bit safer and um, dispatch easier. We can jazz up the, the building, make that nicer. We'll probably get rid of the path going around the back um, and do something with the exit path going underneath. We can rejig the, the queue lines. We can probably do something, maybe get some head choppers like this a bit some track there that goes under um let's have a look at the stats on that so that's the stats to begin with let's see if we can do something maybe make it a bit better or maybe make it slightly less intense more exciting i don't know but what i really want to do is get the throughput better get that block section in the back make it safer so yeah i'm gonna crack on i will see you soon october year one so we've given grapevine a nice paint job and we've rejigged it at the back as well. So we've got a slight little break and then it comes back and then we've got the block break at the back there. Oh, a few tiles missing on the station. We will sort that, we will sort that. So let's have a look then. I'll um, use the stats there and uh, via some editing wizardry, I'll show you what they were. Much of a muchness to be honest. I think the excitement's a bit higher. Um, that's to do with the the scenery and some of the path in as well. So if I turn off scenery to show you what we've done. So we've got the scenery going underneath the station for a little bonus there. Um, we've got a head chopper with the exit on the back and then the exit comes underneath the station and back to the start. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So then we've got a bridge then here going across the, we've got the original bridge there and then another one down the bottom. I've left a one tile gap around the edge for shops and things. Got the Ferris wheel moved down to there. We've um, put the 
corkscrew coaster into storage so we might do something with that later and then we've got a junior coaster just here called Funbug. nice stats on that so it boosts you out all the way down got some little doors underneath the bridge around and about and then back and then we got a little build in there it comes back around little interaction with uh grapevine and then back to the station another little building at the back there um yeah i think the place is looking pretty cool i think i haven't done this sort of path loop style for a number of parks now and i've got to be honest this is probably my preferred building style so i don't know why we've we've gone a different route recently but i, I think this is definitely where i uh I do best at where I've sort of I've got myself a space here and I know that I've got to do something within that space you know not sort of go here there and everywhere you know when I've sort of limited myself I think that's where where we do better um so we're researching roller coasters now we need 1400 guests we're almost halfway there um but we're only a third of the way to the goal so we're, we're ahead of schedule so we can afford to take our time make everything look pretty and um, end up with a fantastic looking park. October year two, almost 900 guests in the park, so not quite as many as I would like at this stage. So I have reduced all the coasters down to five pound. Hopefully we'll help with some guest retention. Because what we want is we want to keep the guests in the park as new ones come in rather than having more guests leaving because they're running out of cash. So we've brought back a uh, corkscrew coaster not the same as it was so this is no that's lee so this is screwball so it's a corkscrew coaster it's set to um launch so i've got powered launch now it only launches at 27 but if you launch it into a corkscrew there is a bit of a weird sort of glitch with roller coaster tycoon where it ends up going a bit faster out of a corkscrew than it goes in which is weird so let's have a look we can maybe we can see it actually um what else have we done now? So we've got a, what do you call it? Observation tower just there. Let's have a quick look. We'll do train one. We can click on that. So we've got the speed at the bottom. There you go, 34 miles per hour, which is weird because it only boosted out at 27. So I suppose it, it boosts the whole thing and then it's got the extra momentum from the drop. I don't know. That's that's my head cannon anyway. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we still got a bit of a space down here to do something. Moving along across the bridge, we've got the red arrow. So guests are leaving. We might have to drop prices down again. We've got a wooden wild mouse just here. So it takes you up, drops you down. Nice airtime hill, another little building and then coming back. Now, when the stats came back, they were quite low so this is one of those ones where it needs a decent bit of lateral g's in order to not give you bad stats so i added in let's hide the view added in that tight little bend and hidden it as well in the building so it doesn't look weird um and uh, yeah great stats got a little maze and a haunted house just there as well what are we researching thrill rides at the moment so couple of gentle rides there but we are researching through all rides now because i think we've got as many courses as we need we've got another space there so maybe we'll add one more um another gentle ride over there spiral slide and then we've got loads of balloons and and gift shops and that sort of thing coming around and then we've got a wooden coaster just here called prospector because we got a bit of a mime theme going on and this rain you know let's fast forward it through the rain i've got it saved so i can go back there you go so stop raining so it comes up the chain left down into a loop which i don't know some people don't like loops on roller coasters but you know it's not as if it's not impossible to do um it has happened so um yeah, it does the loop, comes up, goes over the station, comes back, little turnaround over here, and then back with a little splash, and then back to the station. So let's have a look at the stats on that. Nice, cool. Yeah, so we've got tons of cash. So do you know what? We could probably reduce, because we are losing money now, so £5 a go isn't really doing us any favors 
um, we usually do get a decent amount of guests coming in in the last year. But I figure since we've got so much cash, why don't we just drop all the coasters down maybe to a pound? Um, and that way then guests, there's no way guests are going are gonna to run out of cash and we should get a massive influx of guests and pass the goal. October year three, we needed 1,400 guests in the park. We've got 1,600. We've got the green arrow as well, so it's going up. So it has paid off. We were charging a pound a goal. Let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the, the finances. So, yeah, as you can see, we've been in the red most of the months. There's that month as well where we spent 19,000 landscaping. So if you look at the ground, I've painted the ground as well. Give it that speckled grass effect. It looks just looks a lot neater and a lot nicer. Um, so we've got a go-kart just down here. It starts on that, interacting nicely with the junior coaster. Um, got some seating areas just around the side there. Um, coming over, then we've got I added in one of my six by six. Now this one wasn't actually in in the playthrough that we did. So maybe I'll add this one for download. This one's called Run Around. Um, so again, it's six by six. It just wasn't the one that ended up in the final park of uh, Route 66. And we've got a Virginia reel just there. Whirly tubs, good stats on that. Let's have a look. Takes you up a little bit, drops you down, spinning round and round, etc., etc. You know, it's a Virginia reel. Um, and then over here, then we've got a looping coaster and 3D cinema just there. So it launches you up, up and over grapevine, down through the loop, back around, threading the loop, and then back to the station via a little brake run. Cool. And then they share an exit there just to make it a little bit easier. I think the park looks fantastic. I think, I really do think it looks cool. This is one of the ones. We've got a top spin up there. What else have we got? A rotor drop just over there, just cramming in thrill rides as and when they unlocked. I think this park is one of the best ones we've done in a while. As I said earlier, I wasn't happy with the way Pacific Pyramids turned out. It wasn't a good map. I think if I ever play that one again, maybe I'll get rid of the <laughs> get rid of the pyramids. Um, launch tower just over there. Um, because yeah, it didn't turn out well. But this one, I think this one looks really good. And um, painting the ground really helps as well. What are we doing? Twenty third of October. I think we can afford to fast forward it a little bit. Um. Just to see where should we st where should we go for the balloons? Where should we go? Because we're gonna want to see them releasing the balloons, aren't we? Also dropped down a ton of um handyman because there were a lot of people complaining. Loads of them. Got mechanics, security guard, and an entertainer. I haven't looked up how many guests we'd have needed to trigger best staff. Um but it was just in case if we're gonna hire that many staff, we might as well hire one of each of the others. Stew, awesome sauce. And what have we got? Canary mines, fantastic. And look at all that umbrella cash. All the different colors with the umbrellas as well. Look how nicer it looks with all, all the different colors rather than just having the same one. So it's a good idea when you're popping down um, information kiosks. Every time you put one down, put it down in a different color. I like to do them um, coordinated with a nearby ride. Not that it makes any difference. It's just something that I, I think would be kind of cool. That one I haven't bothered changing, but uh, what's this one over here? This one's red as well. Okay, so there you go. Every one I click on is 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 opposite to what I'm actually telling you to do. That one's blue, there you go. So I wasn't making it up. There you go, cool. Yeah, so this was, what should we focus on first? Maybe maybe the, the Virginia reel. There you go. Yeah, so this was Funtopia. I've been Stu. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you enjoyed it as well, don't forget hit like and stuff like that. Things like that really do help a small channel like mine. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>